WNBC's Brian Thompson is covering the floods for us in that. You are right in the middle of the river, Brian. Chris, this is just another day at the Jersey Shore. Uh, wrong shore. Yeah. It's a day at the shore. Very wrong <laughs> Listen, shore. You can see the... Yeah, it is. You can see the free bridge behind me that uh, connects uh, Lambertville and, and New Hope, and it uh, looks like it's about a couple of yards below where it should be. I've got my uh, trusty yardstick here, and I'm standing at about 2 feet, 24, 25 inches of water. This, by the way, yesterday at 6 o'clock was dry land. That's how this river has spread over its banks and how severely it has over these times. Now, as I'm walking through here and talking about this water, uh, which uh, one environmentalist described as a kind of a toxic soup, if you will. You've got gasoline in here. You've got raw sewage in here. You've got chlorine. You'd think that would offset the raw sewage, but it probably doesn't. you got chlorine from the water plant upriver. Uh, and Lord only knows what other kind of stuff you've got in here. You've got snakes. I know that. Saw some people that saw some snakes last night. And what I'm going to take you to as I uh, make my way over to dry land here in my waders is the hotel that they've built over, well, what normally is kind of dry land here. But as you can see, uh, if my photographer Howie can get down to these archways here, it's a wing of the hotel where all the rooms are, and they've built this. They knew they were building in a floodplain, so they actually built those arches so that the water, when it flooded, would go underneath the hotel. Now, that didn't keep them from having to close this hotel uh, for the last two nights, uh, including tonight, but the owner tells me he will reopen tomorrow as the waters start to recede, and in fact, they're looking at about, uh, right now, should be about the time of the crest uh, for the river here in Lambertville, north of the state capital in Trenton. Nonetheless, some bad situations. You may have heard about it. The water plant in Trenton has been shut down. State government has been shut down there uh, because so many buildings are in the floodplain. And it is quite a mess for this corner of New Jersey, quite frankly, this, this part of the Jersey Shore. Chris. Brian Thompson, thanks very much for uh, putting on the rain gear for us, the flood gear. And for those of you who are in the New York City area, you can watch uh, Brian's reports 5 and 6 o'clock tonight on WNBC4.